Welcome back to the channel. As you know, we just finished the Camino Frances of Camino de Santiago, and we had a lot of questions about accommodations since we did private albergues and pensiones throughout the entire Camino. We are going to show you each accommodation with the cost. If you have not seen our journey, it took us 34 days to reach Santiago from St. jean pied de port plus three days to Finisterre, and we documented every day on this channel. Again, this is for private rooms, and we know you can do it for much less staying at municipal albergues. For the first four nights, we didn't take any video of the accommodations, so we pulled pictures off the booking sites. Let's begin. Before we started, we stayed at saint jean pierre de port in France. We stayed at Gite, which is an albergue. The place has a restaurant at the entrance. The room was okay. We had a shared bathroom, no soap or towels. Price, $89.25. Day one, we arrive at Roncesvalles and we stay at the Hotel Roncesvalles. We ended up in this hotel because it was the first place we saw when we arrived in town after going through a blizzard. Check out our day one video to see what I'm talking about. The hotel is really nice and provided soap, towels, and they offer laundry services for an additional cost. Plus, a restaurant was quite good. Price, 99 euros. For day two, we arrive at Subiri, and we stay in Pension Bentaberri. Private room, shared bathroom, very clean, soap and towels provided, 40 euros. This is where we started to worry about finding places because it took us going to several places before finding a room. On our day three, we arrived to Pamplona, and this is where we had to stay in an Airbnb. The only time we stayed in an Airbnb on the whole trip. We couldn't find anything available and places we called were not answering the phone. We resorted to using Airbnb in a room in an apartment that had a shared bathroom. Price, $58.40. Then we went to Puente La Reina and we stayed in Albergue Jacue. Nice place, great bar, part hotel, part albergue, had a laundry room and a restaurant. Price, 53 euros. Day five, we arrived to Estela and we stay in a, a Hostal Alda. Nice place, price, 42.75. Then we went to Los Arcos and we stay in Pension Los Arcos. No restaurant, private room with a bathroom, price, 60 euros. Day seven, we arrived to Logroño and we stay in Pension La Bilbaína. It had a private bath, an old building, two stories up was the entrance to the facility. Price, $52.65. Then we walk 12 kilometers and we arrive to Navarrete and we stay in Pension Camino de las Estrellas. We had a private bathroom, had a communal meal was offered. Price, 45 euros. We went to Asofra and we stay in Pension La Plaza. Shared bathroom, restaurant off the property, offers meals, Price, 40 euros. Then we arrived to Grañón and we stay in El Cuartel. It had a self-check-in with no laundry, no food on the premises, had a private bathroom, price, 37 euros. From there we went to Villafranca Montes de Oca and we stay in La Alpargatería. Had a private bathroom, nice old home, price, 46 euros. Then we arrived to Cardeñuela, Rio Pico, which is right before you get to Burgos, and we stay in Albergue Santa Fe. It was one of our favorite places. Very nice albergue with a private bathroom. Had meals, price 40 euros. Then we went to Tardajos, and we stay in La Fabrica. Again, great meals, nice room with a private bathroom. Price, 56 euros. From there, we went to Castro Jeriz, and we stay in A Cien Leguas. Nice room with a private bathroom, has meals in the place, price 60 euros. From there we went to Poblacion de Campos and we stay in Amanecer en Campos. Had a private bathroom and they offered meals, price 55 euros. For day 16 we arrived to Carrión de los Condes and we stay in Hostal La Corte. Private bathroom, restaurant on premises, price 50 euros. Then we went to Ledigos, and we stay in Albergue La Morena. Great place, great restaurant, had a laundry, shared bathroom, price 
For day 18, we arrived to Sagun and we stay in a big hotel called Domus Viatoris. Private bathroom, restaurant on premises, price 85 euros. We went to um, El Burgo Ranero and we stay in Hostal Piedras Blancas. Small town, had a restaurant, private bathroom, price $58.55. For day 20, we went to Puente Villarente and we stay in El Delfín Verde. Private bathroom with a restaurant, price $63.50. Then uh, we went to Oncina de la Valdoncina and we stay in Domus Oncinae. It was a new albergue just opened up a year ago in a very small town on the alternative route. Had a restaurant, price 43 euros. For day 22, we went to Hospital de Orbigo and we stay in El Paso Honroso Hotel. Private bathroom with a restaurant off the trail, price 58.50. Then we went to Murias de Rechivaldo and we stay in Albergue Casa Flor. It had a private bathroom, a communal meal, not far from the trail, price 50 euros. Day 24, we went to El Acebo de San Miguel and we stay in Albergue La Rosa del Agua. Beautiful old building, nice restaurant, private bathroom, 76.50. Then we went to Ponferrada and we stay in the Hotel Los Templarios. In the heart of the city, surrounded by plenty of restaurants, had a private bathroom, price $55.49. We went to Villafranca del Bierzo, and we stay in Venecia B&B. Private bathroom, no restaurant. Breakfast was included though, price $44.16. For day 27, we stop in Las Herrerías, and we stay in Casa do Ferreiro. Private bathroom with a restaurant, great service, price 50 euros. Then we went to Fonfria and we stayed in Casa Arreboleira. Yeah, very small town. Meal was offered, private room, price 50 euros. We, we arrived to Sarria and we stayed in Pension Casa do Gallo. We had a private bathroom right on the trail with breakfast, no restaurant though, price 55 euros. Day 30, we arrived to Puerto Marín and we stay in Albergue Puerto Santiago. No restaurant, private bathroom, price 60 euros. So day 31, we arrived to Palas de Rey and we stay in Pension Casa Curro. It had a restaurant with a private bathroom right on the trail, price 48 euros. Day 32, we decided to stop in Castañeda and we stayed in Casa Milia. Yeah, it was a little bit too far off the trail for us. No restaurant around. We had a private bathroom, but in order to eat, we had to hike back to the trail. Pro tip, uh, try to stay as close to the trail as possible. Price, $44.55. The, the day before we arrived to Santiago, we stayed in Opedroso in the Albergue Oburgo. Super clean, private bathroom, offered laundry service. At the entrance of the town, price 50 euros. And we arrived to Santiago de Compostela on day 34 and we stay in Pension Residencia FNF. We had a private room, we had a private bathroom, we stayed two nights there. There were no restaurants. All the rooms are on the eighth floor, which means you have a terrace with a great view. For, the, for each night it was 76.12, and the total was 152.24. For the 34 days that it took us to complete the Camino, we spent a total of 2,017 euros and 94 cents. Now remember, these are private rooms, and as you saw, a few had shared bathrooms. Some places included breakfast, some didn't, but when you book accommodations, make sure to check that if it's something that is important for you. And we do suggest that you try to stay as close to the trail as possible. Also, some albergues offered pilgrim menus for around 13 to 15 euros a person, and some didn't have restaurants on site, so you had to find where to eat. But normally there are cafes nearby that have pilgrim menus. Mm -hmm. As you know, we did continue to Finisterra for three days after Santiago, and those three nights cost 163 euros. So if we add the 2,017 euros with 94 cents 
plus 163 of the last three days, it gives us a total of 2,180 euros and 94 cents for accommodations. Remember that is for two people, okay? You can cut your costs drastically if you were to stay in municipal albergues. Also, um, just a reminder that all these places that we show you, at least the majority, offer uh, shared rooms. So that costs less. We hope this information is useful for you when planning your Camino Francis. And let us know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. And we hope to see you in the next one.